Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer is going to discuss about Kubernetes deployment and Kubernetes clusters. So let's get into the video. Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how do we spin up a pod and let's see how do we create a service for internal connectivity across applications in the cluster and how to expose our service outside the cluster as well. So let me quickly take you um, to this documentation, the lab documentation guide. And here we have provided a GitHub link, which is a public GitHub link from wherein you can download the YAML file. So I'll just do a git clone command execution and it downloads a complete folder called as Kubernetes. You can check the folder over here. It has these many files and we are interested in demo pod.yaml file. We are doing the first exercise over here. We are planning to run a simple application in a pod, which is Nginx application. And then we would be going ahead and uh, exposing our service create a service and expose that outside the cluster or within the cluster. So let's quickly run through our pod YAML file. The version of kind pod is version one. It is kind pod, which I'm planning to create the metadata. It has a name associated with it and the label also I have given the same uh, key and the value. In the specification section, it specifies the container. The name of the container is hemo, demo hyphen container and it comes up with image of Nginx. So this is my pod definition file. I'll just uh, go ahead and spin a resource from this file. So what we would do, we would uh, see whether our context is set by just doing kubectl get nodes and our nodes are in ready state. Let me go ahead and create resource using this file. So we are creating resource. So you can give create hyphen F and you can give demo pod dot YAML and enter. So let's check if I do get pods, it should list me that the container is creating and you can do a watch on this command with hyphen W. Whenever there was a change in the output, it would display. So here the container was in creating state. Now the container is up and running. I can press control C and come back to my prompt. And if you go ahead and check the container is up and running. If things goes fine, the container is up and running here. If you see, this is the pod and it has the container of Nginx inside that, which is up and running. Uh, let's see where exactly on which node did it get placed? We are not working anything with respect to scheduling algorithm at this point in time, but we would be interested to know where exactly a pod got placed in which node. So it is placed in worker node one. And this is my pods IP address at this point in time. So if I refer through this documentation, I have showed you the set of commands. And now let me expose my uh, demo pod uh, and let me uh, have that accessible only within the cluster. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll do a kubectl expose and I want to expose my pod. So I'll give pod, I want to expose my pod, which pod that name has to be given. And I would be exposing that. So uh, there should be a port number on which container uh, the service is listening. So I would specify that with hyphen hyphen port 80. And Nginx container is listening on port number 80 inside the container. So target port for my service would be the port number on which container is listening. So container is listening on port number 80. So service will also send the packets to target port number 80. And then you can specify the type as cluster IP. Uh, the keyword is capital C and the capital I and P that has to be retained that way. And just press enter. It says that the service demo hyphen pod is exposed. It has created a service for us. Let me clear the screen and show you. We can do a get SVC to list the service. This is the default service, which is there already present for the communication on the cluster level. This is the one which has got created. And this is the cluster IP of the service using which you can 
reach this application. So you, if you curl on this particular IP address, because I'm on the master node, and if I do a curl from the master, still then I should be able to reach because this IP address is a cluster level IP address. And I've exposed this application across the cluster. Master is also a part of the cluster. So from master node as well, I'm able to curl on this IP address. So let me quickly show that I was mentioning about the endpoint list maintaining uh, maintenance done by the service and all. How do we uh, see that? So I can describe any type of object I can I create. I can describe a pod. I can describe a service. I can uh, describe any type of object. So let me first describe the service. So here, if you see. It has got created in default namespace. The name has been directly taken from the pod's name. What I was trying to expose, the label has been chosen from there. I don't have any annotations. Selector is being taken because I exposed, intentionally exposed a pod. So it has taken the label of the pod as the selector. Type is cluster IP, the IP address of the service, the port number on which the service is listening. Target port is 80 and endpoint list, if you see, this is the IP address of the pod with the port number of the container. And with this, you understand that if endpoint is listed, service is able to find the pod, it is able to connect to it and it is able to route the request to the pod as well because we are able to open the web page and see this welcome from nginx that has been seen from inside the container right so we are able to reach that particular application using service ip address so here where it says curl into service ip service cluster ip address this is the ip address which we have got allocated at this point in time that ip address has to be replaced over here now i want to edit that particular service because in, initially I thought I'll just expose it within the cluster. Now I want to expose it outside the cluster. So let's see how do we modify that. So kubectl, we saw get, get um, action, we saw describe action. This is now the third action, which is kubectl edit. I want to edit service and name of the service is demo hyphen pod. So let me give that. And I'll look for a string called as type over here because I'm looking for changing this cluster IP type to node port. So I'm deleting this word and I would write node port and I would save this file. I'll press escape colon WQ exclamation. I'm saving that file. It says that the service is edited. Let's list the service, get the service and see. If you see last time we didn't had this particular port number. This is the port number on the host which got allocated this is the node port and because we understood that there would be a mesh type of networking in all the nodes this port number gets opened up and whichever node i reach it will route me to the correct ip uh, correct service ip so let's pick this port number and let's pick the ip address of our uh, one of the nodes and check whether I'm able to reach that application. So let me quickly pick my IP address of my worker node one and 30811 is the port number. So I'll give a colon and the port number and let's see whether we are able to see welcome to Nginx. So here we haven't opened this particular port number. So it would not be listing. So what we would do, we would quickly go ahead and we will change this networking part in all the nodes. So we will add an inbound rule of star in all the nodes quickly and add that particular rule. So on the worker node one, it is added on master node. Let me add as well. I'm just opening all the port numbers making it as a star and say add and on worker node 2 also let me do that i'm just opening all the port numbers so that in the exercise if i'm trying to access any port number each time i do not have to come and modify that so i've added that and let me quickly refresh the page and see whether i'm able to reach the uh, 
curl on this. So let me quickly curl from here as well. So this was my IP address of the worker node. Let me quickly pick worker node's IP address with the port number. Yeah, it's working over here. Let me refresh this and it works here as well on the web page. So uh, the port number was not open. So what did I do? I went to all the three machines and I've added the inbound rule. We had done this in the Docker class as well. So I've added an inbound rule to allow all the type of uh, packets on all port numbers, right? So because of that, I'm able to reach this. This has been served from inside my container, the demo hyphen pod is actually serving that Nginx application inside the container. So if we learned how to edit a service, we learned how to describe a service. And if this service has to be described, you would see there is a difference over here. Let me quickly describe the service and so show you. You will find a node port port number and the type is also edited now to node port type. So we saw how to create from a YAML file. We saw how to describe a service. We even understood how to expose a pod from the command line and create a service automatically. And then we learned how to edit a running resource or running object. Service was up and created already present in the cluster. We went ahead and we have edited that service and we are able to reach the web page using the node port port number and uh, we would go ahead and delete this resource make a habit that end of every exercise you go ahead and delete it so that it doesn't get piled up a lot of resources in the cluster so we will go ahead and delete the stuffs which we are creating in this particular exercise in case we have to retain that then it would be mentioned in the lab guide as well. So we had created two things. We had created a pod, we had created a service and we have got ahead and deleted that. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to dive deeper, then we have something really, really special for you. We have our free class on Docker and Kubernetes certification to get you higher paying jobs. And in this interactive session, we'll be learning about why learn containers that is dockers and kubernetes you'll be learning about the whole docker container architecture you'll be getting to know about some hands-on demo you'll be getting to know the certifications regarding kubernetes cka cks and ckad and we do have q a's along with a limited time gift so if you want to enroll for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash k8 s 02 and after that you just have to click on book your free seat now and after that, you just have to select an event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. You can add this URL to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.